This is the crispiest burger ever, and it's topped with fluffy, creamy cheese mousse. All right, let's make some burger buns. So for the burger buns, I want to make pate -choux. The thing that's fun about pate is when you bake it, it, pff, it puffs up in the oven, right? It puffs up and it gets hollow. All right, so let's make pate -choux. First thing you're going to do is take a bunch of butter, half a cup, and melt it in one cup of water. Other thing we're going to add is some salt, a pinch. Okay, so now all the butter's melted, so now I'm gonna add the flour. One cup of all-purpose flour. Turn the fire down to medium low. Okay, now just kind of bash up all the little chunks, right, and then you start stirring. You can see all the flour, suck up all that water. It's been cooking for about four minutes. And now you'll know you're done when you see just this little film on the side. So carefully dump your dough into the mixer. Now, we're gonna add eggs to this guy, but we gotta cool it down. This is way too hot and the eggs will scramble. When this thing isn't steaming, that means it's cooled off enough that it won't cook an egg when we add it to it. Any recipe that you have for pate -choux that tells you how many eggs to put in there, remember that it's approximate because you really need to watch the pate until till the pate looks correct. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, so you add the first egg, mix it up. Turn this down so I don't shoot myself in the face with the egg. Let's add another egg. As the beater is going around, it should shake each one of those spokes, like brrrr. That's when you know your pate is perfect. Put some cheese. So this is Gruyere. It's like Swiss. Personally, it's one of my favorite cheeses. So like a half a cup to a cup. Mm-hmm. Usually at this point, I would take the pate and I'd put it in a piping bag and you would pipe out, you know, little dots. I was thinking about this, I'm like, wait, no, there's a much easier way to do this. So this is a three ounce ice cream scoop. This way I know that all of my puffs are gonna be exactly the same size. I think I can probably get 12 scoops on here. Looking good. Now we're gonna egg wash these guys. So uh, egg wash is just eggs and water and salt. Egg wash makes things golden brown. It will also make the sesame seeds for the burger stick. The thing for me about baking is that I still find it magical. When I put something in the oven, like these pate for example, and they actually puff up and they do their thing, I get so excited. That looks like burger buns. So these guys are gonna bake at 400 for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna rotate the tray and bake it for 375 for another 20 minutes. Just think about biting into a little tiny burger and you get a mouthful of cheese mousse. Mousse fills the puffed up buns for a perfect bite. Let's make cheese mousse. We're gonna start with cream cheese. Eight ounces. It's a great mousse base. And now we're gonna cream the cream cheese. The thing about mousse is that it has a lot of air in it. So what I'm doing here is I'm aerating the cream cheese. There we go. Okay, now this is processed cheese. And so we take the block of cheese and we cut it up into pieces and then we're gonna put it in here. Six ounces of silky goodness. What's great about this cheese is when you turn this on, the cheese, it will just liquefy in your cream cheese. This is the building block of our mousse. I'm gonna add some paprika. So I'm gonna use white pepper in there, which is a little bit milder than black pepper, and we're not gonna see it. We eat with the eyes. I can smell the paprika, it's like really smoky. Okay, so now a little splash of cream, because I wanna thin this out, but not too, too much. And let's finish this by hand, and we can fold this around. Yeah! Cheese mousse is done. Let's make some burgers. I am gonna show you how I like to make burgers. I'm using one pound of 80-20 ground beef. I cut it into quarters and each of those into thirds and then roll them into meatballs. I have burger convictions. And listen, everybody has their own sort of way they like to make a burger or like to eat a burger. I like burgers super thin and flat and crispy. Here's how we do it. First, what we need is wax paper. And I'll take my burger. Give them a gentle smash, fold the wax paper over so you have space all the way around the burger. And then give it a gentle roll. All right, so now you have this super paper thin burger. Put it to the side and we'll do another one. Just a little pat of butter, stick it in there. I'll know this is ready when it starts smoking. 
that means this is going to be hot enough to make this burger crispy. Salt, pepper. Now we're starting to smoke. There we go. Now a little bit more salt. And look at that. That burger is shrinking up. But fry it till it's crispy. Don't, don't flip it yet. About four minutes on the first side, about two minutes on the second side. Pepper. Here we go. I think we're looking good. Look how crispy. This is our last burger. Let's talk about caramelized onions. So the trick with caramelized onions is low and slow. I'm cooking these on medium low in the burger grease for 25 minutes. All right, so these onions are looking delicious. Now I am gonna show you guys how to build the perfect burger. Bun sliced with a bigger top to hold the mousse. My sauce is mayo, ketchup, and relish mixed. Crispy burger, caramelized onions, some bacon, cheese mousse. You can pipe it or totally spoon it in. Lettuce, bun, and top with a toothpick and cornichon. And we, my friends, are in business. Look at this thing. This looks good. All right, I gotta take a bite. <laughs> oh man. Cheese mousse really makes this burger. Everything in here is crispy. Then they're just wrapped up in this cheesy, soft hug. Man, I want to eat like 10 more of these right now. Mm.